What is up, y'all? How y'all doing? Hey, baby. Hey. Y'all, so um, it feels good to be back. A lot of times, if I say if I fall off the face of the earth, I'm like, I done fell off on the deep end on something, some project or something. So I've been just working on a lot of shit. And um, i either been working on stuff or playing video games to like soothe my mind. It's just... It's just crazy. But um, what are we getting ready to do, baby? Um, we're going to the farmer's market. Yes, y'all. Today is the first day that um, the farmer's market uh, in Madison has opened. And me and Carla, y'all already know, uh, at least on our second channel, at least we've been talking about just trying to find more organic fruits and vegetables. Hopefully a lot more that has seeds in it. Um, so I'm really excited to get into this. Here is uh, at Trinity Baptist Church. See the tents out. Um, they're out here until 12, which is currently, I think, like 11:20. <laughs> so we come in at kind of like the, towards the end of it. They opened at nine. Perfect spot in the front. Carla just okay. mentioned. That is kind of cool. What's the template? Oh, yeah. It's like 48 or something like that. Yeah. It's like, y'all already know how it is with the weather. All right, so right here we got grass-fed and grass-finished beef, pasteurized pork. So they have meat and stuff here too. Did you want to get some, uh, try some of their meat? Thanks for braving the cold for us. Oh, you <laughs> damn steak. Yeah. That's the only thing I'm interested in right now. What? A steak. Carla been craving a steak, y'all. <laughs> and usually they don't have <laughs> It's non-GMO, no soy. Peppermint, chocolate mint, and in the front there is a lemon mint. Oh wow. And like this is like So would you just refrigerate these? Or they, no, you can actually um, <clears throat> put them in a bigger pot, set them on your counter, mm -hmm. or even put them in your garden. Now I will say with the mints, if you look closely, there is roots right here where if it a fine ground, it will grow. Peppermint and the chocolate mint especially is a almost like a vine that will just continue to grow and take over whatever space you give it. So, so I didn't know. Uh, it's crazy because um, she, she paid I've workshop. been laying off the eggs <laughs> because um, I notice whenever I eat eggs, I have a reaction like a lot of mucus and stuff. But one thing that my grandma said was, she said she'll eat the egg, but she won't eat the yolk. Um, and I'm just kind of paying to my family and see like what different things affect them. And I'm assuming that maybe the same reason it affects me is the same reason my grandma don't fuck with it. So um, I am, I'm thinking about trying some of his eggs and uh, maybe just doing the white, the uh, egg white. Hey, did you want to uh, try some of his eggs? I was talking about getting some eggs. Mm. You don't want to? And just doing the egg white? Mm, no. Okay. If we don't use his <laughs> eggs, then um, then I'll get eggs and um, just do the, the white of it. Mm. 
I've never had goat cheese. Comment below if you had goat cheese. Uh, I'm just not a big cheese person. I'm waiting for when that fruit come out. Oh, so fruit is not here yet. I don't know. I don't see any. I haven't seen any fruit. Yeah, and I'm not really a big fan of getting like um, stuff that people cooked in their house. Like sometimes they'll sell like uh, some type of made up bread, bread or something like that. Or even like those jams. Yeah, because it's like I don't know what they're doing in their homes or wherever they're doing it at. I don't know what they're doing. So uh, I'm not a huge like fan. Okay, so I thought we was going to be able to get some fruits and vegetables, y'all. I'm not aware of the times and the seasons and all that. So what we mainly sitting out here is eggs and meat. Oh, he has some steaks, though. Okay, do you want to try some steak? Thank you very much. Let's get some meat. I'll be over in a moment. Okay. I don't know if I've had meat um, that wasn't from the actual store. What is it? They got shoulder, they got shanks, neck. Yeah. Oh, kind of hard. Hey, so, how are you doing? Ooh. So, bacon, steak, and yeah. bacon ends, and like wings. They, they cut the tips of the bacon. Yeah. Maybe so you can make like bacon bits or something. So, yeah, we'll try their bacon, their wings, and their um uh, steak. Yeah, I think you would get a um. Okay. Like I said, I've never had meat that wasn't from the store. So this will be my first time trying something like this. Hopefully I'm not looking too rough, y'all, because the camera close to sale, but don't judge me. We all goose eggs. Have no eggs like me either. Yeah, I probably it run probably from tastes it. different. I wonder if they have like that gamey taste. Uh uh. <laughs> I already have to be in the mood for them, so well then maybe we could go ahead and uh, try to do some eggs. Or maybe not. You want to try the eggs or no? Don't worry about it. Uh, if you want to, we can. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but you go on order, honey. So this is our first time ordering wings like this. Now we've heard that it's different when you cook the wings, is it? Yeah, a little bit. These are the whole but yeah, I want some bacon too, and I want to try steak. Yeah. It's good, yes. <laughs> yeah, 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 we want two of those. Y'all yeah, see? This is the cottage bacon. It's from the Boston, but it's leaner okay. than your regular bacon. Let me go get some regular on that. Okay. Which bacon do you usually get? That's the only one he had left. Uh, <laughs> oh, he said he's going to get some regular. regular. This one's good. You eat that one? Yeah. Probably. Oh, you want to try this? I'll eat. Oh, really? I saw, a dude, I saw a dude on TikTok. He eat raw meat. Did you, did you see him? <laughs> he's like brains and like, this is weird. <laughs> you get more nutrition. Hey, this you have. I saw you had the top sirloin, but. Do you, do you want the grass fed and finished or do you want the grass fed and grain set? No, grass fed and finished. Um, I'm out of ribeyes on those. Okay. Top sirloin's good, filet. Got some newer strips. Okay. Alright you guys, so this go round we got some uh, some meat. First time trying it from a uh, uh, just fresh off the form I guess. Yep. So I'm really excited to see what that's going to taste like. Um, now, like I told y'all before, I have been working on a lot of things. Um, and a lot of it has to do with just either starting up a business or maintaining a business or just learning how to run a business. You know, taking courses, educating myself. 
and uh one of the most uh uh i'll say learning experiences i've had so far is uh with this tax season uh Previously, most of y'all know we were uh, truck drivers or independent contractors. So, I mean, tax was still what it was, um, but we, you know, used this particular company that specialized with truck drivers, and it was not that bad. But this go around, it's like I'm doing it under an LLC, and uh, the accountants that I was speaking to, that we were speaking to, they were just telling us about like different expenses we can write off based off what we do, and just. All type of stuff. Had to gather information. Um, so just a lot been going on. So now we're getting ready to head to the post office. Hopefully uh, I have what I need for our business account. Our bank account. Um, so I don't that, mean to cut you off. But that guy who we bought that meat from. I guess he normally have eggs. At least that's what his trailer say. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Yeah I like his laid back vibe. Mm -hmm. I think. I'm trying to think if you do we talked to last time. But I don't remember. I remember we talked to a dude the last time. It must have been meant for us to go down there. But um yeah, off to the post office. And uh something that we just started is a uh, e-commerce business, um, which is we sell we're selling um uh audiobooks, uh erotic audiobooks, black erotic audiobooks high quality the mission is to just really help the listener become immersed in the actual book based off using sound effects and music and background ambience and all that stuff so that the book can, i mean the listener can feel like they're there when they listen and um so we've been working on that and I've been like trying to teach or learn how to just the best way to run an e-commerce business and stuff like that. And then another thing is uh, something else that me and Carl have been working on that I said we started in Florida. Um, uh, we're supposed to be meeting with this lady on Tuesday to uh, learn more about like business grants and stuff like that. So it's like it's really taking me out of my comfort zone doing a lot of this stuff because it's just not something that i'm used to seeing people do um as far as in like my family and stuff like that and it's just it's just very uncomfortable you talk you're using words or learning terms that you've never heard before but it's like y'all already know that we're all about taking risks leaps of faith and just really getting out of our comfort zone that's how we're here today you know so so um hopefully i gotta see what all we need uh they're probably gonna need like a i don't know if they're gonna need an official business plan or something like that so i don't know i gotta look at all that stuff but that's what's been going on while we've been kind of missing we've just been working on a lot of stuff and uh, of course as we learn things and get things set into place then we're going to share it on our vlog channel because it may be some things that some of y'all want to do like when we went on our trucking journey um a lot of people they found an escape out of their nine to five jobs or out of their mundane lifestyle by driving trucks um as we just took take leaps of faith period it's like some people who you go in the trucking industry and you realize that you know some people think like oh shit i'm gonna be here for like five to ten years but then when they witness our journey how me and carla we literally went in there learned what we needed to learn built up some capital um and we were able to jump right back out within like two and a half years. It's like people see shit like that and they like, damn, it's possible. I don't have to stay here. This don't have to be a, a long-term thing. So, anyways, off to the next stop. She got to say well, I had some wings, stew wings with rice. But you don't like chicken and rice. I eat chicken and rice. Ooh, I bet put them holes in the crock pot. Ooh, I should get the crock pot. Oh, yeah, we do need to get the car by. Hey, Ma. Hey, Shell. What you up to, girl? Oh, nothing, girl. I'm trying to get up so I can decide to do my hair. I'm just going to wash it real good and condition it today. Oh. Um, There's nothing going on. In it's it's kind of cold here. Is it cold where you at? It was yesterday. Just windy or whatever. You know, a little chilly. I haven't been outside. That's <laughs> Nikki. She and she. <laughs> How is good old Nikki doing? The people want to know. You being recorded right now. Oh my word. I am. Nikki is good. Living life. Happy as ever. 
her little karma been outside playing today. <laughs> One was outside waiting on her when she got up, cause you know I have the window open so she could be up looking out while um, we waiting for the daylight and everything. So she let me know, and then I finally roll over. She see me rolling over. She be like, "All right, you ready? Let me out." So, <laughs> I'm glad she. I went she... to let her out the back door. I seen Karma over there in the driveway waiting on her. <laughs> oh, she be waiting on her in the driveway. <laughs> We um we just leaving a farmers market um where you know you uh they had just different I, we thought it was gonna have fruits and vegetables but I guess they don't have that yet maybe it's not the season for it I don't know um but we got meat from there that's oh, like okay. straight off the farm like How some you gonna not have fruits and vegetables at a farmers market that's well crazy. I mean they probably have it like later because they do it every Saturday like today was the first Saturday they start in April and then they just keep going until the season is off but um several vendors or just yeah vendors? several vendors and so different farmers will show up to sell their products and then they'll also give you your their card so you can actually um uh, yes and uh so we, we got a sirloin steak we got bacon like uncured bacon and regular bacon i guess uh they don't have all the, the preservatives and, and stuff like that stuff in it hormones and stuff and then we got some chicken wings so yeah i guess we're gonna see <laughs> that's what carla really tastes like i'm ready to see what what the difference is gonna be like from what we used to it's the, the the one of them is pretty thick it's like not even shaped like regular bacon it's, but it's bacon mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, bacon it's got so pricey in stores and everything shoot that's good if you can get it you know like that you know worry about all that crap in it shoot you gonna pay for it anyways right oh uh, yeah poor little trees why do they be sending shit like this like these people don't well I know I don't pay attention to stuff like this. I usually put it in the recycling bin, but I was kind of just curious about the cruises just to see what they had. But when I looked at it, I was like, this ain't nothing I'm interested in. But um, I do want to go on some type of trip soon. I told Carla I'm ready to go ahead and do some type of traveling somewhere soon. Um, but them uh, flyers and stuff, they need to just stop doing it. That's old school. People is not looking at that shit for real, for real. I mean, some people do. My mama, she'll pull off a coupon real quick um, for like a restaurant or something. But I don't think people really be looking at this shit no more. Be a waste of dang trees. What's up, guys? Good morning. talked to my mom yesterday and told her about the bacon and I told her that I would show the, show it on the vlog so she could see it so we're getting ready to make breakfast here's the bacon it's thawed out turn on the lights in the kitchen And uh, the whole thing, I guess, as far as it being uncured, is that it does not have any nitrates or nitrites, um, except for those that are naturally, that comes naturally from celery powder. So, whether it's healthy or not, I don't know. You probably still shouldn't eat it like that. Um, but, I mean, probably want to eat it today. Can I get an amen? And I am, so Carla's going to come and make the bacon. She's just really good at making the bacon, keeping it flat. She has the patience for it. And me, I'm going to whip us up some waffles. So once we whip that up, we're going to taste it, see what is given. Go from there. I'm actually going to be making my pancakes from scratch. Uh, Carla got recently. I am not a huge fan of it because it's sweeter than what I'm used to. But she got organic maple syrup. It's not Aunt your Mama, but a... <laughs> she said ain't no wrong with it. See the ingredients? Organic pure maple syrup. And 
Carla's making the bacon in a cast iron skillet. It's supposed to cook the bacon better. Oh, we need some more salt. One and a half cup of flour. I'm using this bread flour, sugar. Hey y'all, so what we've been doing as far as um, eating, uh, this is something that we're actually trying now where we um, low key cook in bulk. So for example, Carla, she cooked a meal yesterday with some turkey burger steaks with um, broccoli and uh, some home style potatoes. And uh, one tablespoon of, and uh, and she made enough for two days. So then tomorrow when I cook, then I'll make enough for I'll make enough for um like two or three days, and that's what we've been doing. So I'm liking it. Less cooking less meal planning but the thing is we've actually tried to just do just a little pinch more we've actually tried to do bulk cooking where you cook enough for where you eat the same meal like five days in a row honey when i tell you that did not work out mm -mm. it was not for us we got tired of eating the same thing but the two or three days i can do that We uh, make some big fat waffles. Put our little waffle maker. Coconut oil. Maybe I should put this recipe in uh, maybe our Discord. If y'all not in our Discord yet, you can definitely go. And if y'all want this recipe, let me know. Um, I just like it because I don't have to use eggs. I mean, I don't think you have to use eggs like that anyway. Now, the only thing is that if you make pan make pancakes with it, the pancakes, they, they're light skinned. I don't know how to get my get them like, you know, the regular pancake color. So if you, if, if, is that what the egg do maybe? Maybe it does. But um, this right here works for me. And then after I put some melted, well, put some water in here and get it to a nice consistency, I'm gonna melt some butter and put it in there. Uh, just a little butter, I don't uh, measure it. And um, then, um, then I'll be ready to do the waffles. Y'all, Carla getting ready to whip up in the bedroom. We can ready to do the bed. I'm gonna get a full waffle. I knew you was gonna do that. The smell it. <laughs> yes. Cause you love smelling stuff. You smell it too, cause it's, it's got a strong smell. It smells like it smells good. Yeah. It smells like ham. Yeah. That's what it smells. Okay, like. that's what it was. I was trying to figure out what the hell. <laughs> Like, what was I smelling? I told me I'm gonna cook all this up there. What do you think? I mean, how long do it last in the refrigerator? Uh, we can eat some more of it tomorrow, though. You know that, right? Yeah. I'm sure it'll last tomorrow.
Yeah, not quite enough. Put this little piece of uh, bacon out to try it. You try it yet? No. You want to try it first? No, you can try it. You always want to do the taste test first. Tastes like ham. I told you, it smelled like ham. Yes. Yeah, it's like ham. Mm -hmm. It's good. Really good flavor. It's bursting with flavor. Still really salty. That's why they say don't eat too much of it. Oh, they say that? Yeah, well, when we read that article about cured versus uncured bacon. Mm -hmm. Here it is. And waffles. You put your plate. It makes me think about my, my grandma. The reason why she says she don't eat meat anymore like that, she said because the meat don't taste like what it used to when she was a little girl. Mm -hmm. I would imagine this is probably what it would take used to taste like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just by I don't know, it just it just almost makes me think about back in the day when she used to Oh, first time biting it. What is giving, honey? It's crazy because I was thinking I wanted to make some um, my BLTs or something. Mm. This would be good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Girl. But um, but yeah, my grandma said like when she was a little girl in Batesville, Mississippi, that's where my family originates. She said when somebody would cook like a ham or something, she said you could smell it Oh, they'll be all the way up the block, like, because they all, like, will be living on one street. And, again, this is in the early 1950s. Um, cause, but, um, yeah, she said you could smell the whole, the whole thing. Just, it'll smell up the whole neighborhood or the whole street or whatever. Mm -hmm. And she said, like, she, the meat, she said she know the meat ain't the same. That's why she don't eat it like that. Tell you some good eating around here. Yeah. Yeah, I told Nick. I said, so you mean to tell me? <laughs> People who got farms be eating like this every day. <laughs> yeah, this is how they used to do the meat back in the day. Mm-hmm. I know it is before they had to mass produce. Yep. But I don't know what my where my grandma used to get her stuff from. But it made me think about my grandma, like back in the day when she would make biscuits from scratch some type of ham it will be like some type of ham mm -hmm. but it may be that right there and it'll just be smelling it's so good that, um that country ham do you remember if it was round i don't and remember the had a bone in it? i don't remember i just mm -hmm. remember getting to my plate and eating <laughs> but it makes me think of it makes me get like a nostalgic feeling just by smelling it mm -hmm. but um it's really good so we're it definitely is. gonna be uh <laughs> visiting him i can't i told nick i can't wait to Put that chicken in the crock pot, baby girl. Make with some chicken and rice. Not the way, cause Nick don't like um, creamy chicken. chicken. 
I mean, I uh, the thing that's is that's not her favorite meal. Yeah, it's not nothing I like to eat. It's but like if you had ten things, it'd be number ten on the list, <laughs> and then it don't even have to go on the list. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> But I can still eat it. Mm-hmm. It's not nothing that I just wake up and be like, ooh, I want chicken and rice. But it's crazy because Sierra and Bradley, they love it. Mm-hmm. That's because you used to make it for them all the time. Not all the time. But I used to make it. It's not like, you know how usually people have those um, soul food dinners, you know, like fried chicken. Like, we didn't fry chicken all the time. Yeah. But when you had it, you appreciate it. Yeah. But uh, anyways, y'all, it's a beautiful sunny day outside. We got the door open with the um the little screen on there, and um, it's interesting. Bunny, he's gotten comfortable to where he'll go out like on the balcony, and so I googled. Would a rabbit jump off the balcony? <laughs> and they were pretty much saying, I wouldn't trust it because, like, when a bunny gets scared or riled up, they just do shit. I they just run. Would. I think like, he would too. The more he get comfortable, y'all, it's like he get tested. Yes. So, because at first he wouldn't even go out the screen. Yeah. And then we looked up and he going out the screen. It's yeah. like we let him go out there one night. He was like, oh, okay, it's out here. <laughs> So now he's like, I can't go out here. <laughs> so unless, if something don't happen to scare him, he'll keep pushing his boundaries yeah. to see how far he can go. But if he gets scared, he just will take off like Bugs Bunny did. Mm-hmm. Um, and he would run off the balcony, I believe. So what me and Carla said we're going to do is we're going to get something to line up the uh, the um, the balcony. What is it called? The banister, whatever. We're gonna line the balcony so he can't get through the um y'all know what I'm trying the rail or whatever. Um so he can still go outside and get some fresh air because it was nice to see like the wind blowing through his hair and the sun hitting his body. I mean I would think um all living things would want some some type of sun. So or fresh air. So we're gonna do that. That'll be a nice little project. Um, for us, I think we go to like Hobby Lobby or something. <clears throat> but other than that, y'all, this was the meal. Um, I really like the the bacon so far. I'm excited to taste the the other stuff that we got from him. Mm-hmm. Currently watching some anime. The show I'm currently watching is Demon Slayer. I really like this show. Even Carla, she'll get into it every now and then. Um, it's not Hunter X Hunter, but it's still a really really good anime if you like hunter x hunter this is a really another good one